This afternoon, Grand Junction High School students were returning from lunch when they found the school doors locked and their school resource officer telling them to leave campus immediately. Someone had reported that it looked to be an armed student walking towards the high school, which prompted immediate action, locking down three different schools and putting one in a shelter in place. I spoke with a sophomore who saw all of these events unfold and was there when the incident eventually resolved. I never thought something like this would happen in such a small town like this. What Julian Conaway is referring to is this. Police and sheriff's officers swarming his high school. But that's not how the day started. We usually go down to Sherwood Park right down the street to eat lunch. And, you know, it just seemed like a normal day. Started walking back. But at 11.20 a.m., the call came in. Someone was seen in the parking lot of Grand Junction High School with a gun. As we went to the door, we realized they were locked in. Our school resource officer here, Officer Evans, told us to go in that lady's van over there and stay put. The school was placed on lockdown along with West Middle School and Colorado Mesa University. And nearby Tope Elementary was put in shelter in place. Immediately, rumors began spreading as worried parents and students tried to figure out what happened. There's allegedly a kid in the inside with a gun. Nobody knows if it's an active shooting or if it was just a threat. The Grand Junction Police Department, Mesa County Sheriff's Office, and Colorado State Patrol arrived on the scene. It's kind of weird when you see sheriffs in usually where you'd see the Grand Junction Police Department and a couple state troopers drove by. And only seven minutes after the initial call came in, the suspect was detained. Uh, I'd say it was about 10, 15 minutes ago. The young male suspect was apprehended in the north alley of the 800 block of Elm Ave after running away from the scene on foot. The weapon the suspect was carrying was actually a BB gun replicated to look like a handgun. Slowly, the schools began transitioning back to normal operations. And around 12.07, the call came over the loudspeaker at GJHS that the lockdown was over. But for the confused students and worried parents, this incident, which lasted only a few minutes, seemed much longer. Yeah, it is huge. And this is still an ongoing investigation and no further arrests have been made at this time. We will, of course, update you as we receive more information.